Hey, what's up, y'all? Eric here, aka Cloud Like, and welcome y'all to the new episode of Persona 5 Royal. So far, if you've not seen my last few episodes, the playlist will be in the description. Check it out, hit the sub button, follow Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok description. Yes, here we are, right after we do this. Get it so let's get it started. Hmm. So, yeah, last episode, someone's been spying on us. We don't know who, but we'll find out. You got an exam coming up. Are you going to study? Yeah, I'm gonna study. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Study. Make sure you close up. Hey, hey. Thank you. Morgana. Well then. refreshing morning how are you doing i didn't expect the phantom thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with the fact they have so much support online is worrisome i'm in a bind since i previously denounced them all the interviews these days ask me about that still can we really say the phantom thieves are on the side of justice with just this example Thank you. But I noticed that you're not saying that the Phantom Thieves are right. I suppose that was an unfair way to phrase it. I was originally investigating the mental shutdown incidents. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the Phantom Thieves are doing? Hmm. No. Now that I think about it, their actions mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Ah. Sorry, I don't want to make you late. Oh. See you later. Yep. Any means to get that one. famous okay let's get started this is coming up everyone studies I know some of you are relying on not all nighters but can't recommend that's really messed up your information Last, lo last long time, I guess. Anyways, keep. We are. Let's try this one. Yes.
Take forever. Nice. This is it. That's right. Hmm. I could have dodged it. What the heck? Hey. What's up? In home? Where are you? Tower? That reminds me. Doctor. today that's good that reminds me there's something i wanted to report to you would now be a good time good sure thing thank you why don't we find a seat somewhere okay huh oh you and you are it's been quite a while akechi-san and the same for you yoshizawa-san right you know each other works at a TV station. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. Oh. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. I didn't know you knew her as well. <laughs> That's right. He's been offering me guidance lately. A deal, you say? Huh. That's quite the interesting relationship you two have. So, what were you two up to? Oh, right! I was just about to share some exciting news. It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before, I was chosen to be our club representative! Congratulations! This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? We can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. Okay. That would be wonderful. Does that work for you, Senpai? Sure. That settles it. Would you mind if I chose the place? 
There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. Of course. Lead the way. Sure thing. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? I have to prevent my body from getting too cold, since the meat's coming up rather soon. I see. You make sure you're covering all your bases. Good point. Well, some people say coffee can cool you off, even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. I had this image that you enjoy sweet things, Akechi-san. Is that untrue? I swear I saw you eating fried sweet bread on TV just the other day. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd pleaser. You seem to have your own bases covered as well. Presenting oneself in a favorable light is nothing surprising. More surprising is just how innocent you seem to be. I've been wondering, how do you two know each other? His social studies class visited the set of a TV show I appeared on. Ah, uh, that's right. Second year's got to go to a TV station. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. I can definitely see that. Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. That reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. You had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. Yes. Like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. In that case, let's play a little game. Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? No, go right ahead. So, my question was, what do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act. But, I simply can't agree with their methods. I see. Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. How so? Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population. But I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. I see. So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Quite an interesting take on the matter. Let me ask you then, what do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? Nice. <laughs> Quite. I'd say it's equally as unique as your own opinions. Wait, could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? <laughs> I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. I'm sorry, I should probably get going. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Right, then let's call it a day. Good luck on your competition. Rooting for you. Yes, thank you. Well then, see you later. Later. Ah, <sighs> you're back. Hey. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. That's a long since tough. Right about the underlying section in. Trying to understand how. I think so. Oh my god, come on, Morgana, don't be jealous. Picture the Do you know the answer? He did. Uh thievering? This is it. Correct. Oh. Did. Yep. It's open. Welcome. Excuse me. It was nothing.
The exams. Pretty sure it's sad if the leader tendencies get the bad grades. Be all right. Solve this problem using this formula that I taught you. Do you understand, Hurricane? I think I can do it. These are you to study more. Up. I've been helping everyone with studies. <laughs> studying with you is really how we focus. We focus. So I'm having tons of trouble with these questions. How are things going with for you? Rather than usual. He's so in danger in failing his exams. Probably extra motivation for you, huh? You're just like, bitch, shut up, cat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I gotta do this. How lame would it be that the fans of things get the hell back? Great. I guess uh, I'll try super hard because of you here, because you're here. Okay, let's do the rest. Wanna head back? I'm vooped. Head out. We are at the big day. The exams. Yo. Yep. And this very probably we haven't soon. Heard there's gonna be a big hot stuff, dude. I'm pumped. While I was studying. Come on, man. Well, figure it out. Going to English on the website too. And I'm so hungry. It's going already. Let's get steady. Let's go. 
<laughs> Today is the first day of your exam. Final exam. Begin. Okay. The angle C angle is a 28 and a... I'm a... It's 64. Ooh, we can do this. All right. Mm. I think I remember this one. This one I remember. Skull head. heads. That's right, heads. Sorry. Right. Offer them instead of heads. Yep, you're right. You finished the time. Ah, give it up. That's up. Hmm. Give up already. Please don't be so harsh to your students. Now everyone. Second day of your finals, you may begin. It's, it's a bread king. What's that got to do with the comedy? Ooh, we can do this. Let's get started. All right. English is raining riches, raining cats and dogs. I believe. Ooh, we can do this. Try to remember the last time. Uh. Right. Hmm. The last day of the exam. Kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa san? I heard the school moved her exam period. Must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there. Uh, hello. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? All right. Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Sure. Why not? Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. Mm-hmm. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Right. Right. 
Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? Are we disappointment? Yep, that's right. When you work as a counselor, right? you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, mm -hmm. just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Yeah, it is unfair. We just gotta keep trying. Maybe there's a topic. I see. You're approaching reality from a rational point of view. No, it could actually be that you understand reality's unfairness, yet you're willing to stand up to it. That may be the reason you're at this academy now. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Fundamental solution? Hmm. Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Hmm? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. That sounds tough. Well, I can't deny that. Plus, it's a bit different from changing our hearts, now that I think about it. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you, and enjoy your vacation. No problem. Exams are finally over. Uh, I'm so exhausted. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. And I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thief's popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? It kind of feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. We sure are on top of these kinds of things. Hmm. Now for the weather. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, tell me about it. Let's go to bed. Yes. Hmm. Hey, it's me.
I think so. Come on, man. So like for the night yes what's up mm. what well, why why are you staring at my face Ryuji I have a favor to ask a favor Sure, you need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. Hmm. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like... Way more detailed than some rough idea? Huh. Well, I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. It's so hot. Oh, you spit. It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. No kidding. Whose bright idea was it to come here? Sure. Yours. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Thank you, Morgana. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. A TV crew, huh? Yeah. Let's just grab our kebabs and get out of here. Yeah. Ah, let's interview those three. Uh-oh. Hey, is she talking about us? Seems so. What the? Yeah. What do we do? Calm down, they're really fine. Good point. We'll look even more suspicious if we panic now. They got us. Oh boy. Oh hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up and make some real cringy comments so they can't use any of the footage. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? Really? Uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> really, Ruigi? Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Oof, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat. Yeah. Oh, right. Like a bob. Got some. Got some Morgana, too. The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. Because we're together. That's 
pretty poetic, dude. Well, we came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, is that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Hmm, a stadium. Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go. All right. So, that's it? It barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jump in the gum. Jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Ah, uh, well, in that case... Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Uh... Don't have it out me. Huh? Oh, well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Mm-hmm. Senpai? Hey. A pleasant surprise. Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Nothing wrong? Sometimes when things get me down, I come here. Oh. Although that doesn't really answer your question, does it? Uh, that's I know fine. this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Sure. Whew, that was delicious. I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. Was it worth it? Simply put, it was a disaster. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. Sounds rough. Yes, I've really hit a wall with this. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. Really? <laughs> Wrong? I have a younger sister. Oh. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, she died in an accident. Oh, I'm sorry. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice, but I wonder if even that won't be enough. You're really gonna do your best. Senpai. Thank you for being so thoughtful. No problem. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. All right. Thank you so much for listening to all that. No problem. Now I feel like I've been recharged. Mind, body, and spirit. Awesome. <laughs> well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. 
Uh, uh, yeah, you too. <laughs> oh my gosh, BG. That's so cool. Morgan's like, no. Okay. Wanna see the movie? Sure. Go see the movie. Holding her ears, calling. Movie's right. The person's true value is in social standing without wealth. <sighs> oh, it's just good of an use. Guess girls like me are not that perfect. Romance is kind of loves loves you seeing the movies. Understandable. <laughs> Thanks. Come with me. You're a good friend. Head back. Celebration. Okay, it's a festival. It's me. Five. It does really add as a good feeling of summer. Even Lady Ahn will be wearing one. Come to think of it. Oh yes, yeah, fireworks. Let's say. Okay. Be careful, it's the same crowd. Hey, hey.
right when we were just about to leave, too. But we're on sensitivities. What could he mean by an insane group? Let's think about this after we get back. Yeah. We don't have much time, so let's get going. Yeah, let's get going. Damn, it's so hot. No kidding. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Mm-hmm. Did we know about the fireworks festival? Going to the fireworks festival? Yep. This uh, should be fun. Yep. Oh, it's so hot. I feel like I'm being baked. Hmm. Those girls are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? I don't got clothes like you, Kata. Man, you look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. Oh, by the way, the exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Shut up! We, we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? Oh, to the girls. That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? Are we getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around to pain, so can we just go with these chicks? Don't ask me. Uh, the ratio of guys to girls is off, but uh, we can do something about that later. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. <laughs> How could you? Don't worry, you G. Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Well, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke is such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh? Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we didn't see anything. Come on. Like you need help. Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
We're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Hmm. I think I just saw someone I know. Really? You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. I need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. <laughs> My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. We made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? It be. So that's what makes us cool? To be honest, I'm not a fan. I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't going to find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. Yeah. So you won't tell me, no matter what. I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Thanks for the drink. Hello. Hey, we're not done here yet. Uh. What's, what's wrong? It's nothing. He's hiding something. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Regrettably, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm hmm? These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. The Phantom Thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details. But there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? Hmm, not interested. Can't you even take part in small talk? You should have more interest in what's going on with the world. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. Ah, oh, great. This is what we need. Now, I get to go on the Thieves. So maybe we could change their hearts or whatever. Or, matter of fact, who's that girl's? New message with art.
A world-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. Insane. What? Tell me. Ugh, no way. Right out. Yeah. Yeah. I got high on charmed. All right. Busy. It's not like I can focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? Right? Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima. You want to ask me something about the internet, right? Yep. I'm going to be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? Dude. Don't worry, I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. Hey. I have a means yet. So, that was fruitless. Wonder if anyone else got any info. We won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly.
Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> okay, who is all who is this girl? Who's on Medjet, huh? Wait, is she the one hacking their phones? Okay, who's this girl exactly? Maybe. Oh. Um. We have. Oh, uh, yeah. What happened? Okay, sure. Your faker.
I got a new skill. Fucking dial tears. Thanks. Bye. Two. Still don't have any tangible clues. Hey, Oh, hi. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for using our service. No problem. You've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold or quite foolish. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. You mean him? <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. Okay. Summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Majed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. So this is what the public thinks. Oops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. Yeah. I don't get it.
Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. Stop. Um, unknown account. Nice to meet you. I am called Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a fantasy, aren't you? You really steals hearts? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There is something whose heart I would like to steal. I'm not asking for the charity. That let's make a deal. You wish to you know about the uh, miniature, correct? You give me information. I'll give you information on them if you change our hearts. Assess. If you, if you're so desired, I can care. I can take care of them as well. I, wait a minute. You mean that girl? Ask me that girl earlier. The computer girl. Track down their accounts and you can. There's a necessary tool. I yet. Or to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? Who is this? Bond. Is an error message. Hmm? You can't reply back. I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Yeah. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Hmm. Of course you don't. Then, is this person measured? I doubt it. No. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. Yeah, his name is uh, Alibaba. That is. Or Only she. We take his words for face value. True. Wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. That's true. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. 
I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we... Yeah. So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? Alright. with a big group good evening we were thinking about putting together plans for our summer hmm is that a new face I see it's nice to meet you my name is Makoto Nijima I hope we're not being a bother she's our student council president Nijima is something wrong no, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late-breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. It's in English. Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Whatever. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? Oh yeah. Any more trouble? It's rare for you to get something like this. A calling card. Anything else in there? Who's this from anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? Could be. That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. Yeah. 
He can look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjet. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. All right. Okay, y'all. Yeah. Mm. First the Alibaba character and now the black calling card. What's going on? I don't know, but we're gonna stop right here, y'all. But uh, we'll find out who's Alibaba is. But thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoy. Leave a like and awesome comment. Tell me what y'all think. Hit the sub button, follow Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok description. Hope you enjoy. And as always, see y'all next time.